until the coming of a great God whom they call Buddha and to whom the salvation of souls belongs. Him they believed once to have come upon the earth whence he departed from the top of the highest mountain on the island called in the Chingule language Amalel but by the Portuguese and the European nation Adam speak. It is sharp like a sugar loaf and on the top a flat stone with the print of a foot like a man on it but far bigger, being about two feet long. It is the footprint of the Buddha. The people of this land count it meritorious to go and worship this impression. And generally about their new year, which is in March, they, men, women and children, go up this vast and high mountain to worship. up this vast and high mountain to worship.
acquired nirvana, who came into the world like other Buddhas, from whom is derived the food of life, who is celebrated for his 32 great manly beauties and for the 82 signs connected with them, and for the light which shines a fathom round his body, and for the beams of light that dart from the top of his head, who is the preceptor of three worlds, who is acquainted with the past, present and future, who during four asankhyas of Kaltes so conducted himself as to be an example of the thirty great qualities, who subdued Mara and his attendants and became Buddha. In the eighth year from that event, he rose into the air, spread beams of light of six different colors round his person and stamped the impression of his foot, bearing the noble marks Chakra Lakshana and the 108 auspicious tokens on the rock Samantakuta Parvati, which is celebrated for the cold and lovely waters of its rivers, for its mountain torrents, and for its flowery groves spreading in the air their sweet-scented pollen, which is the crown of the Virgin Island rich in mines of all kinds of precious stones, like a maid decked with jewels. life not on the land, but a little above it, so that the hills and valleys appear veiled beneath.
belongeth only to the women to fetch both wood and water. Oh, 
of all their corn, at reaping their excellent good, just after the English manner. As they join together in tilling, so in their harvest also. For all fall in together in reaping one man's field, and so to the next, until every man's crop be down. Take it a day, it's 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 a day
In reply, to dear sirs, with reference to our conversation, twenty-two pounds seventeen and sixpence, seven pounds nine and a penny, to acknowledge receipt, forty rupees seventy-five cents, fifty-five rupees two cents. We beg to inform you that the consignment to which you refer, seventy-eight dollars thirty cents, U F O B London, per S S Comerin, sailing twenty-fifth instant. Yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. <laughs> Toulon, Naples, Port Said, Suez, Aden, Colombo. It was steady at yesterday's higher prices. The long FNS November to five port quoted ten pounds seven shillings and Hello? seven pence. Hello, CIS. Speaking. Oh, Jason here. Butler Blue Bridge, the new factory. Yes. As a matter of fact, I was just going to send them along. There are one or two alterations I want you to look over. All right, I'll go as soon as I get them. They're not a hurry, you know. Yes, of course I understand that. You must realize. Embla Valley, forty-two six East Endurance for Lawn, twenty-three. Bitter six percent preference, twenty-eight and six. Euralia, 83, one and a half. Yetian, top, 16, four and a half, seven and a half, six and a half. 
Yesterday's commodity prices. T. The week's offering of salon grade amounting to 22,100 packages, came up for auction. Competition was generally good and prices regular. Common and low-medium broken orange picos were a farthing to a halfpenny higher in some instances, while broken picos also showed a similar rise. Good medium sorts and fannings continued firm, and where quality was good realized higher prices. Clean common broken pico quoted 11 pence farthing to one shilling per pound. Columbo, October the 10th, bound London. In Rapera, left...
became Buddha. Who is celebrated for his great manly beauties and for the 82 signs connected with them. of his foot, bearing the noble mark Chakra Lakshana, for the light which shines a fathom round his body, for the beams of light that dart from the top of his head. from whom is derived the food of life. 